Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Aviation Mentors and guys this is the continuation of your basic navigation video so basically this will be your part 4 video in the previous part guys we have talked about the latitude small circle and we have talked about the meridian what is a prime meridian and what are your special circle so I will try and keep this video short because I wanted to just finish up the topic of latitude and longitude. So in this video, guys, we will be talking about what are your longitude. Okay, so you need to understand uh, very, uh, you know, in a good manner, what is longitude. So I'm going to explain you definition, what exactly it means. And apart from the longitude, if the time permits, we will be discussing about the nautical miles. So these are the topics I'm writing, which are left before we move on to the numericals. Okay. Then we will be discussing about the nautical mile. Then we will be discussing about your rum line. Now, one thing I want you to understand guys in my videos, I am teaching you each and everything in a very conceptive manner or in a very detailed manner, or you can say in a very uh deep manner because these topics you know in the dgca you will be getting simple questions of one mark two marks three marks but if you know if your concepts are good and your knowledge is good that will help you in a long run okay so without <clears throat> wasting any more time let me just start with the topic of the longitude all right guys so what is a longitude so first of all, what we will do is, first of all, we will write down its definition. So guys, the definition says that your longitude is the shorter arc of equator. It is your shorter arc of equator intercepted between, I'm going to write it down, shorter arc of equator intercepted between your prime meridian see intercepted between what your first is your prime meridian and the meridian passing through that place and meridian passing through that place and meridian passing through that place so we will understand what does this definition means so i'm going to highlight that for you so it is your shorter arc of equator intercepted between prime meridian and the meridian passing through that place. It is known as your longitude. So have a look guys and let's just try to understand what does this definition means. So we just don't have to cramp up this thing. Ki, okay, I have read the definition, but if someone asks you, okay, can you explain me on a piece of paper? You won't be able to, you'll feel bad for yourself. So, you know, learn things, learn them, you know, in a conceptive manner so that you will get a confidence when you go for exam. It's just not about just, it is not just about passing exams. Okay. So this is your North and this is your South. So suppose guys, I'm going to draw a prime meridian. So I have told you prime meridian is a meridian which passes through Greenwich and is taken as the reference meridian. Me means this one is your reference meridian. So the rest of the meridian we defined as per your datum, datum or reference meridian. Okay. So now suppose this is the place. So I'm going to take up a different marker. Uh, sorry, a different color. Suppose, okay, I'll take up a blue. So suppose this is your place and I want to find out the longitude of this cross place. So now guys, there will be one, I'm going to take up the same color. Now there will be one meridian, which will be passing through this place, right? So let us draw that meridian, which is passing through that place. Okay. So this become a bit of curve. So let me just uh, draw it a bit near. Okay. So just give me a moment. All right. So let me just put a dot here and suppose this is the place. Okay. So now what we are going to do. So now there will be a meridian, which will be passing through this place. Okay. Now we have two meridians. So the first meridian that we have is known as your prime meridian. Okay. And again and again, I'm telling you what is prime meridian. So I'm going to write it down in the bracket. 
that is your datum meridium datum means reference only it is another word for your reference or the reference meridian and this is the meridian this is the meridian this is the meridian passing through that place meridian passing through place okay so this is the place this dot is the place so let me just put it in a different color okay yeah this is the place where we need to find out the reference oh sorry the longitude now i'm going to draw up the equator for you so this is my equator all right guys this is my equator now guys as per the definition suppose now you have to imagine this diagram in a 3d so i'm going to draw suppose this is the center this is the center of the earth okay imagine it in a 3d that this is your center of the earth now guys as per the definition it is the shorter okay the shorter arc which is of the equator which is intercepted between the prime meridian and the meridian passing through that place now guys the meridian passing through the that place which of which we are trying to find the longitude intersect your equator so i'm going to take up uh, uh, another color okay let me just yeah so this is this is where your equator is getting intercepted by the meridian which is passing through the place of which we have to find the longitude and this is the place where the prime meridian is intersecting your equator okay now if i draw an arc from hey these two point towards the center of the earth the angle the angle which it subtend this angle this angle is known as your latitude sorry longitude sorry guys this is your longitude so let me just explain you again see the definition says it is the shorter arc of equator intercepted between the prime meridian and the meridian passing through that place so guys very simple see this is your arc okay this is your shorter i'm going to write it down this is your shorter arc of equator now if you see this shorter arc of equator this arc i'm going to highlight it by blue this arc is intercepted between your prime meridian and the meridian which is passing through the place of which we have to find the longitude which is this blue dot now if we subtend an angle if this arc subtend an angle towards the center of the earth that particular angle will be your longitude of that place so suppose let me just take it suppose this is subtending an angle of 30 degree so this place is having a longitude of 30 degree now guys this is your west and this is your east right so as per the reference datum which is our reference datum the reference datum is our prime meridian so referring to the prime meridian this place is lying east of my prime meridian so i will call this as 30 degree east okay so this is the definition of your longitude so this is the longitude again i am saying the definition it is nothing but the shorter arc of equator intercepted between your prime meridian and the meridian passing through that place all right guys so i hope you understand this definition it is very simple but just you know to make it better i'm going to explain you again and i'm going this time i'm going to take up a example of the west so let me just uh, draw a circle for you which would be our earth so this is the circle now i'm going to mark up the north okay this would be my north and this would be my south so let us draw our prime meridian so this is our prime meridian so now guys i want to find out the uh, longitude of this place so now there will be one meridian which is passing through this place okay now guys let us just draw the equator this is our equator okay the drawing is not that good uh, okay just but try to understand so now the shorter arc of the equator intercepted between 
the prime meridian which is the this and the meridian passing through that place all right now guys see this example you have understood now you have to imagine all this in a 3d diagram okay because this is not a 3d diagram so you know you might have some uh, i'll show you a 3d picture as well so now suppose this is a sphere and this is your center now this is the arc we know this is the arc now whatever the angle this arc is subtending at the center of the earth will be the angle of the will be the longitude of this place so suppose this is your 40 degree so the longitude would be 40 degree and as this place lies west of the prime meridian west of the prime meridian we will name this as 40 degree west meridian okay so now by looking at this angle uh, it doesn't look good but you if you imagine up this in the 3d it will be more good because have a look at this time we have taken central so it looks you know much better than this all you need to remember is that your longitude is nothing but the shorter arc of equator this is the shorter arc of equator intercepted between the prime meridian and the meridian passing through that place so what you need to understand is wherever the prime meridian is cutting your uh, equator and wherever is the meridian which is passing through that place is cutting the equator that is the arc okay and whatever that arc subtends an angle towards the center of the earth is called your longitude so very simple so guys i have told you about the latitude what points you need to remember and now i'm going to tell you certain points that you need to remember in the longitude so whenever the word longitude comes all you need to remember in your mind is that the longitude is west and east okay and the maximum longitude can be either your 180 degree east or it can be your 180 degree west and why so i will also tell you that so have a look here guys now if you okay let me just grab up a, some 3d diagram for you all right i think this one would do so this actually i have downloaded this picture to explain you uh, you know rumb line and grid circle so let me just uh, grab okay no problem we will explain in this so guys see these lines these lines are your meridians these lines are your meridians don't get confused in meridians and longitude basically meridians and longitude are you know more or less same so i am going to term it as longitude longitudes so now if you see guys suppose this is now i am going to take up this is now if this is a prime meridian suppose i am taking this one as your prime meridian now this is your west and now this is your east this is your north north and the bottom one is your this one is your south now why i'm saying that the maximum it can go is 180 degree west and 180 degree east guys see now your meridians if you the earth earth is a sphere right so earth is a sphere so it is 360 degree so if you come around this side it will be your 180 degree and if you come from this side it will be your 180 degree so 180 and 180 is how much it is your 360 degree all right so now this is your prime meridian so i'm going to take up a different marker okay this is your prime meridian so this would be your 30 degree meridian sorry this will be your 30 degree longitude line or you can say meridian this would be your 40 degree this is your 50 degree this will be your 60 degree this will be your 70 degree and now like this when you come here till the end it will be your 180 degree similarly when you go this side around the earth same it will be your 30 it will be your 40 it will be your 50 and up till what it up till the 180 degree east okay and this is your 180 degree west so if we add both we will get 360 degree because earth is a sphere the original shape of earth is known as your oblate spheroid i have told you in the part 1 please go and watch it if you haven't so this is why you have a maximum of 180 degree west and maximum of 180 degree east okay so this is all about your uh, longitude i hope you get it 
so very simple i have told you what is the definition maximum longitude can be your west or uh, 180 degree east or 180 degree west and whenever the word longitude is there please remember one thing in your mind that the longitude means west and east so now a lot of people you know get confused when they get questions and sir longitude latitude mein bilkul khichdi pak jata hai you know you mess up things so just to be sure i am going to write a bit little bit of short summary here so whenever you talk about the latitude and whenever you talk about the longitude so whenever we are talking about latitude the first thing that comes in mind is north and south and the maximum can be 90 degree north and 90 degree south okay and whenever the we talk about the longitude all you need to do remember is it is west and east and maximum it is 180 degree west and maximum it is 180 degree on the east side now in the case of latitude the reference or the datum the reference is your equator okay the reference is your equator and in this case you all reference or datum line is your prime meridian your prime meridian this is your prime meridian now what do i mean by reference equator this is your equator and in terms of equator we uh, refer whether it is the no if your latitude is north or latitude is south if it is above the equator towards the north then it is your north okay like 10 degree north 20 degree north 30 degree north and same in case of meridian this is your prime meridian if it lies if your uh, place lies to the west of the prime meridian it is termed as west and if it is to the east of the prime meridian then we term that as a east okay so that is why uh, we take it as a reference so latitude mein kya hai it is north south okay 90 degree north maximum 90 degree south reference is your equator and in terms of longitude it is termed as west and east it is 180 degree west 180 degree east is the maximum and your reference is your prime meridian all right guys so now we have understood about the longitude now guys before moving on i am just going to share one small term with you which is known as your graticule you will you might get a question on this but uh, very simple just a definition you have to remember it is nothing but a network of latitudes network of latitudes and longitude network of latitude and longitude is called graticule is called your graticule okay now what do i mean by this very simple see if i talk about this diagram guys this is nothing but a graticule right ye pura diagram hi jo hai ye graticule hai why because you can see network of your longitude ye kaun si line hai these are your uh, these are your latitudes these lines are your latitudes and these lines are your longitude and you can see network of it on the one sphere on the on the earth body if you draw the latitudes and the longitude that network is known as or termed as your graticule all right so that is your graticule that is only thing that you have to remember uh, if in case of the graticule just the definition of it so just for your better understanding let me just draw a graticule for you okay i'm going to draw it with a pencil just a second so graticule all aapko bas definition yaad rakhni hai ki it is a network of the latitude and longitude all right so suppose meko if i want to draw a graticule so i'm going to what i'm going to do is this is my north and this is my south okay this is my south so i'm going to take up a green color okay so suppose this is my uh, prime meridian now this is my all meridians i'm going to draw or you can say longitude i'm drawing okay so here i'm going to draw my all longitudes i have drawn longitude now with a different color i am going to draw up my latitude so this is one of my latitude 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 so this is known as your graticule graticule is nothing but it's like a web okay web or you can say a network of your latitudes and longitude is known as your graticule 
so we have covered up what is your longitude we have covered up what is your latitude and what is your gratitude now guys before moving on to your important topic of shilat and shilong this is the uh, topic from where you will get lot of numerical in the dgc exam i want to discuss a few things that will help you in solving those uh, questions all right so have a look here guys so before we discuss shilat and shilong shilat is also known as your dlat and shilong is also known as your dlong it is nothing but known as i'm going to write it down for you so shilat is nothing but your change of latitude it is same thing as your dlat which is which is your difference of latitude difference of latitude similarly shilong is nothing but your change of longitude and d long is your difference of longitude so before we go or jump into this topic we need to clear some basics and the most important basic of all see you have already know what is latitude and what is longitude now you have a picture in your mind now how to calculate this i will tell you but before that guys there is a very short topic which is known as your what is your nautical mile we all know we use nautical mile in terms of distance when it comes to aviation okay like dme distance we say 15 nautical miles 20 nautical miles but do we know what is exactly is your nautical mile okay do we know we actually 90% of the people don't know what is your nautical mile so what i am going to do is i am going to explain you guys what exactly is your nautical mile and most probably uh i will keep this video short as of now because i just wanted to explain you guys uh, longitude so now in the next chapter what we or in the next video what we're going to do is i'm going to explain you what is nautical mile all right and then we will start solving your shilong and shilat questions and also there is one more important thing i'm going to tell you how to write coordinates already i have told you that we write in degree minutes and second so guys suppose now uh, okay just before ending this video let me just tell you one thing suppose this is your point a now it will be having a coordinate right so we write the coordinate of a place in terms of your latitudes and longitude like how many north it is and how many south it is okay and i have told you that to write a coordinate guys all we need is nothing but your minutes and seconds also so suppose this is the place and i say this is 30 degree north 30 degree north and 20 degree west so what do you mean by this okay so usually your coordinates guys they are written in this manner so always or uh, the first one which comes is your latitude of that place and the second thing that comes is your longitude of that place so this is the example i am taking so suppose now i have to plot this on a here so now this is my equator and this is my prime meridian i have drawn my reference now in terms of 20 degree west i know i have to go west of the prime meridian so suppose this is my 20 degree 20 degree west longitude line or meridian now 30 degree north means i have to go up from the equator because that is my reference and suppose this is my 20 degree sorry this is my 30 degree north uh, latitude circle okay parallel of latitude so now where these two line intersect means here here will be your place a so this is just uh, you know a basic thing i am just telling you uh, we will cover up all of this in shilong shilat in detail i will tell you both uh, two three methods of solving and what are the variety of questions that comes in the dgca all right so okay so just before ending this video like i have told you you have to write a coordinate in this way now guys always remember your coordinate is not so simple okay 
so it is not just like it is given that 30 degree north and 20 degree west actually your coordinate will be given to you as like 30 degree north 30 degree 20 minutes and 15 seconds north and suppose it is 20 degree and uh, 10 minutes and 20 seconds of west so coordinates are basically like given like this so they are given to you in degree minutes and seconds and these degree minutes and second degree minutes and seconds they are not your minutes and second of clock so i'm going to write it down these are not your minutes and seconds of clock all right so remember this thing and i will talk in detail what are degree what is a minute and what is a second in terms of the coordinate so this is just a basic that i have told you so what i want you to guys to do after this video is revise what is a graticule and remember what is your longitude then i'll keep this video short for now so now guys a uh, very important thing is in the part 3 uh in the previous videos now up till now we have covered what is longitude we have covered what is your latitude we have covered the great circle we have covered the small circle we have covered your in the small circle i have told you some special circle small circles we have covered about what is your graticule and yeah uh, longitude latitude great circle small circle and we have covered what is your meridians and yeah so guys see almost 50% uh, i would say 70% is done and 30% of your this chapter is left but before moving to the next uh, video or i'll start the next topic i want you guys to remember and fair up all these topics okay just go through all the videos go through all of it again before you watch my next video and please if you have any doubt left in any of the topic comment in the comment box below and i would be more than happy to help you so i'm going to keep this video up till here and you guys take care and have a good day bye bye